Good evening. I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. And this is brought to you by New Leaf Hyperbarics and Massage. And we have a good reason for that. Not only does Matt care about when things happen like this, but this is a relative. This is something that is very relative to him. And you're going to hear my train go by. I just want to warn you because I know I have my own train. Some people have cars. I have a train. It's just how it works. Pretty big deal, actually. Um, so we're here tonight to update you on the Michael Bryson disappearance. Um, this has been going on for far too long. And somebody out there knows something. And there's just a bunch of things going on that we want to clear up so that people can get back to the job of not covering their ass, but finding where Michael is. And so this is brought to you by Matt McCarl at New Leaf Hyperbarics and Massage. Matt, so you're, this is kind of a personal thing for you. Yeah, a little personal, uh, seeing how uh, Parrish is my cousin, so make Michael my second cousin. So, yeah. So when you heard about this, um, you know, how long has this been? I'll, I'll get Parrish on here in a minute, but gosh, this has uh, been- It was months. August, I want to say early to mid August. So this and been- the day I found out, I just like put my staff to work and said, hey, I got to go. And I went up and started helping search. And there, so. and there have been so many people involved in this, helping, trying to find Michael. Mm-hmm. Um, and we know that he was at a party and probably partying and disappeared and that's where it gets all weird and crazy Mm -hmm. so let's bring in our other guests here hold on i just did add to the screen there they are so screen right is parish that's michael's dad trent the gentleman with the that's him waving he is tina who's michael's mother's brother and in the back is Jack, a family friend who's been really involved in this whole thing. Parrish, update us on what's going on. Uh, Today we're at day 94, and we've got probably two different scenarios that could have taken place that tips and whatnot has given some foundation, but we're still missing some major pieces of the puzzle. Okay. So what are we missing? What, what it does get right to this right here. Just as much as you guys can explain and anybody, Jack, if you want to pipe in on this one, there's been a second Facebook page put up about Michael Bryson, but this isn't the official page and kind of tell me a little bit about what's going on with that. Cause it's getting confusing for people. And is that maybe part of why? So I, I think I'll flag this one. Um, that group was created by some individuals that are not really affiliated with our main page in any way, shape, or form, other than at one time some of them were followers. Um, I think that page was created because some of these kids feel attacked, you know what I mean? And then that's normal. Uh, people want answers and they're going out and, you know, asking for answers. And you know, we keep grouping all these people that were at that party, you know, and calling them the raver kids or whatever, but they're young adults and they know right from wrong. And uh, I I think some of them are using some of these kids like almost as a shield to uh, try and deflect away from what our purpose is of, you know, finding this guy's son, this guy's nephew, and one of my best friends and bringing them home and giving them back to his mom. And they're worried about, you know, oh, somebody said this and somebody said that. Well, you know, my grandma taught me something when I was probably five years old, and that was if the shoe don't fit, don't put it on. It's really that simple. You know, if you hear something and it doesn't pertain to you, then it's not about you. You know what I mean? So everybody taking all this stuff to heart, like, I'm sure there's people up there that have no clue what happened to Michael and are just as upset as we are. You know, I've met some really amazing kids out of that group. I've also met some real not amazing ones. You know, and uh, I'm just tired of the lies and stuff. And they get on that page and they bash Tina and Parrish and, you know, any of us that are involved. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What? So wait, so people are getting on this other page and then bashing Tina and Parrish when it's their son who's missing. Yeah, exactly. What the hell is that all about? 
I, I don't know if you heard about it, but they even somebody, and I don't know if it's anybody attached to that group or not, but somebody even made a Craigslist post for a trampoline free, come pick it up at Parrish and Tina's house, gave them the address, and says because their son Michael was gone and didn't need it anymore. Like, oh that's my the kind God. of scumbag shit we're dealing with. That, oh yeah, I mean, he, will, he woke up to people at his house one morning looking for a trampoline. I mean, they put other people's life in danger. You know what I mean? Like, somebody comes messing around my house early in the morning, they're going to get met with a pistol. You know? And so stuff like that, besides being rude and just a shitty human being to do something like that, this is, I mean, that's love. And you put somebody else at risk. So uh, the worst part to me, I mean, that that's all horrible. But what also is horrible about this is that you're taking away from what we're trying to do, which is find him. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And 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 some of those comments and some of the posts that are being made um, are personal attacks that have nothing to do with Michael at all. Nothing. And you know, they can say, well. It happened on on Michael's page too. Well, I, I will I will address that. We're almost at twenty thousand people on Michael's page. We have fourteen admins that watch that page. There is no way you're going to see every comment that goes through there. And at the beginning, it did get a little nasty because people wanted answers. And from day one, day one, when we walked into that camp, we were lied to. And I'd also like to point out on that Facebook group, the Let's Find Michael Bryson group, we have also since day one said, don't be shitty to these people. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're not, we do not condone violence. We do not condone any of this stuff, condone any of that type of stuff. Like that's not what we're trying to do. Oh, whatever. We're trying to find Michael. So how many people have perished and Tina been putting at risk? What? Oh, yeah, this is, these are people. These are people from the other page yeah. right now. I think. And yeah, I think we've. I think we've attracted. Be very careful. To what kind of people we're dealing with? I mean, and I have not said. None of us have said anything bad about them. We're just pointing out facts. And now here they are again, already attacking us. And we're just trying to find Michael. Wow. Yeah, and they're and they're talking about. They're talking about. You know, it's all racial and it's all um, political and there's all these things that are coming to light. You know. And, no, it's not. Like you said, it's about finding Michael, period. And what really, really, really bothers me about this whole scenario is when we see something that's not right, we take it down. We don't put posts up that are attacking someone's character or attacking someone personally. They are posts that create questions so people can answer those questions and possibly trigger someone to say, oh yeah, I remember that. And Nothing more. Questions. Nothing more. But they're not rude and they're not mean wow. or spiteful or anything wow. like that. So it's so, because I, mean, I had to shut I had to shut our website down or our, our Let's Find Michael Bryson page. I basically had to shut it down for two weeks. And what I mean by shut it down is I, I deleted or no one could comment, period. No more. And we had posts that were the same as before, they were positive. They were questions that were thrown out there about Michael as far as what might have happened. Um, things that were supporting the people that were out actually searching for Michael, not the ones that are sitting on the couch surfing for Michael. Um, but I don't, I don't mean that in a negative way, but people that are on the, their couch causing problems for Michael, I should say that. Um, and for two weeks, we shut everything down. After two weeks, we started opening up the comments again and the page is exactly where it was from the very beginning. And it didn't really turn in, in other people's eyes nasty, if you will, until people's remarks were coming back on the page. So that is just so odd. Well, it, does it lead you to somebody? This just tells me that somebody really does know something. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, they're trying to cover it up. They're, they're deflecting, Rick. They are taking all the attention away from really trying to find out the answer of what happened to Michael. And then I get these comments, oh, do you really think he's gone? Do you really, I think Michael's alive. I think, and I'm gonna address that too. 
every morning I wake up and I pray that I and my wife get to live the prodigal son. Right? Right. That story. I pray that every morning. But then I have to be realistic about what really happened to Michael. Would Michael go 94 days and not contact his family? I can answer that with a very firm hell no. He would not. So what? Are, where? Where is the um, like the police? Where are the? This would be sheriff deputies. Where is? Is this under investigation? Are these people under investigation? What's going on with that? Yes. Um, everybody. We've said this from day one. Everyone is a suspect until they're not. And because it's an open investigation, the detectives can't tell us everything. All we do is take information to them from what we find out, whether it be from Michael's webpage or whether it be from tips that we find from anonymous calls or whether it be from someone who's actually being honest with us. We take those tips to the detective and then we sort through them all the time. We meet with him every two weeks. I'm sorry, I'm, I am listening, but I'm, I'm also selectively choosing which comments to put up. Right. And, I, and just because so people know this is my page and I will go back and block people who are who are not playing nice. Um, I have the ability to do that. I will block you um, if you can't play nice because um, but but quite frankly, I think sometimes just let your let your comments flow because you're only yeah. show, showing your true colors. Um, I yeah, don't get, I don't get. Um, Unless you got something going on, what, what? Why would you start doing this to parents looking for their kid? So let's not talk about them anymore. I'm tired of that. Um, let's talk. What? Where do we go from here? What's the next thing that people out here can actually do? Um, if Rick has any questions, I already have been on Rick Dancer's podcast before. Okay, Donovan, um, we'll. <laughs> You and I'll talk. Well, I, I have some questions, but I'll talk to you privately about those. Um, I would I would love to have a conversation like that with you because um, you've been on. And, and so, yeah, maybe we have a relationship there. We can go, kind of see going. Um, but I want to talk about what can people do? Go ahead. Go ahead. Can, my can, man. I say can I say something about him real quick since you brought him up, Donovan? Yeah, as long as can you I can. Say, can yeah. I say something? Can you hear me OK? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so for the record, I'm not related to these guys. I'm just a friend. Okay, I showed up there on the 6th. I've been with them almost every day since. Donovan, I spent time around that kid. Okay, and the shit he came out and said, 100% untrue. Okay, I was there. I watched how he was treated. I personally tried helping him find somewhere to live, place to work. Like, does that sound like the type of people that are going to hold him up in a hotel room and do bad shit to him? No. You know, and just to hear that kind of stuff is ridiculous. So, you know, what, like you can go back on the page and look where I was trying to help find him a place to live because I felt bad. So I think what, you know, people, people. And what people need to understand is this is the, the parents trying to find their kid. And there's just a lot of stuff going on in between all this. And we need to get back to the whole idea to, to, to have one page where everybody can go with information and don't give bad information and, and get back to finding Michael. So I, I'm guessing that Donovan and all these other people who are friends, I'm hoping that they also want to help find him because when Donovan and I talked on the show, um, but, but we need to have possibly, it sounds like one page so that the cop, cops aren't going all over the place. This is crazy. I see what you mean. When you called me and said th that something, you know, this is getting, going all over the place, I've never seen anything like that before. I mean, and I've seen a lot, but, but I mean, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. We also have a podcast that's going on that we were um, approached about. And um, I will tell you right now that uh, she's doing a phenomenal job. Um, she's not related to us by no, no. Way oh, no, no, no. I, 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 no, no, yeah. no. I know that. I'm just putting that out there because I'm sure it'll come out, you know, that she's, you know, Pro Bryson, and that's not the fact at all. The fact is that she is very much neutral and just wants to get Michael's stories out. That's it. And she is doing a phenomenal job on all aspects as far as we are concerned. 
Um, Darby, I can answer your question. Why don't I interview the other support group then? Because I because I'm talking to the family, and I, out of respect to the family, they're the ones who are searching for Michael. I'm not going to get involved. I don't have to. I'm not going to get involved in a big screaming fit. And I'm dealing. My my objective and Matt's and the families is to find Michael. I don't know what the second page is all about, but I'm not going to get involved in a squabble like that. Um, we have an official page. I'm told by the parents this is the official page, and that's what I'm going to go with. I'm not a news guy anymore. I don't have to cover all angles of a story. What I'm trying to do is find Michael Bryson, and that is why we're doing this show. If you guys want to do the same thing, then I would just suggest as a citizen of this town that you go over and help them on their other page to find him. Otherwise, by creating a second page, it sounds like it's just creating a lot of confusion and that may not be the most helpful thing, but it is a free country and you can do as you wish. But um, <laughs> remember, <laughs> I don't know what you believe in, but there's this thing called karma <laughs> you know? and it's bitten me in the ass many times. So I just put that out there. Um, Paige. Yes. How is Tina doing? Well, Tina's not here tonight. Is this so because that probably speaks that probably speaks volumes to you, Rick? Is you've it has a really good relationship with her? You've had really good rapport and interviewing with her. You've been able to really touch some spots with her, and she's not here tonight. So this is all this shit is just too much for her honestly yes i i can 100 i'm not judging i'm saying i would my, my wife wouldn't be here either you just you're thinking about your boy that's it that's it exactly right there and and that's why i said about the the let's find michael bryson page getting it back to where it's supposed to be that's exactly what's going on and as far as support is concerned there's nothing supportive going on as far as anything else besides that page. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna call it the way I see it. I've reached out and until people come out and tell me the honest truth, uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna find what happened to Michael. I'm gonna bring him home and anybody that is linked with that story is going down. So, I'm tired. I'm tired of being nice. So Darby, I'm going to answer your question. You said, so you put out there that you think they're guilty, dangerous again. I don't know if you're talking yeah. to Michael or to me. Um, he didn't. And I didn't. I just said we should have one page and that's where I'm talking about. We're trying to find Michael and join forces with the family and let them lead the investigation. Um, that seems right to me. Um, so, so do this for me. So, how is your daughter doing? Okay. I was, I, I had lunch with her today and she's doing okay. I got to leave it right down the middle, Rick. Yeah. So what is your next step? Do you have anything? I mean, do you kind of, do you feel like sometimes you're just sitting there wondering what's, I mean, you can't go search for him. Um, actually, we had a search team out this last weekend. Oh, did it you? Was from, from Washington, California, Idaho, and Oregon. Um, we have some more searching going on this weekend. Um, but again, because it's an open investigation, we really can't say a lot. So what are you looking for from the general public? What can, how can we all help you? Prayers, uh, stay involved on our page. You know, stay true to our message, our mission. Let's try and find Michael. Let's not get distracted by all the drama that's going on around us. You know, um, we're, uh, still doing search and rescue. We're still trying to find answers and we need, you know, we need these people's help. And then, you know, they've been, like we said, they've become family. You know what I mean? Like that's why we're Michael's army. 
because we're all one. You know, you hear guys in the military refer to each other as brothers and sisters. That's what we are. You know, and we just, uh, you know, keep checking in on that page. Don't give up on us. Uh, we're, we're not quitting. We ain't going nowhere until we find him. You know, so anybody who may have anything to do with that, remember that. You know, because one day it's all going to come out in the wash. And yeah, the, uh, things are coming to light. Things are coming to light. Every tip is pushing us closer, you know. And like I said before, there's just things that that we're not allowed really to say. And because we're not allowed to say, um, other people have said, "Oh, well, they're hiding stuff. They know what happened to Michael, and and they're they're being deceitful." Or, "Oh, they don't want to find Michael because they're making money." With if we don't find Michael. Um, and I could go on and on and on. And I tell you what, until they sit in my chair and are grieving a young man that more than 18,000 people loved, don't you dare tell me I'm doing this to raise money. There is not one amount of money in this whole world, none that I would give to not have my son. So Parrish, I'm answering a question from Darby Anderson here. It's dangerous to put blame publicly on someone. How is that so hard to understand? They should not be pointing fingers at all that's gonna make it so much harder to get the truth. Have you guys pointed fingers at anyone in particular? Exactly. No one has ever came out and said, Joe did this. Samantha was there and she witnessed the whole thing. Nobody has mentioned anything. All we have done is ask people that were there and they know who they are. They put the list out themselves. All we've asked for them is to be honest with us and tell us what happened, give us a timeline. And I'm telling you right now, every one of them has lied since day one. Now, when I say everyone, I don't mean everybody at the party. I'm talking about the people who, there's about six. Everyone else has been quiet. They've been hushed for some reason. Why aren't they coming forward and talking to Parrish and Tina? Why and, aren't they coming and, forward and talking to the detective? Why aren't Darby, they coming forward and talking to anybody? And, and Darby, just for your information, we haven't said any names on here um, of anyone except Donovan and I, and we know each other, and he wants to talk to me. So that's the only person we've named, and that's not somebody that, that, that I know of is coming out like that. So, um, you know, this is... This is an insanity. Um, yeah, it is. it is. Okay, so let me do this. Give me. I'm going to wrap this up. Give me one last um, plea from you, Parrish, and then I want to talk to Matt for a couple seconds, and I'll let you guys go um, and do what you got to do. Okay. It's your um, shot. Man. Basically, all I, all I'm going to say right now is that Tina and myself. Um, and Krista, our main focus from day one was finding Michael, period. Um, there is no manual on how to do this. Did some, did some turns go the wrong way? Yes, they did. But as soon as we saw that, we corrected it. But other people continued to go down that road. Again, 18,000 people, we do our best to keep things where they need to be. But we aren't here to guide and to um, push or influence 18,000 people. We're here to find Michael. You know, I and this keep people on that page informed on what we're doing as best as we can. Again, it's an open investigation. So we can't tell everything. And again, because we don't tell everything, people that don't understand the law think that we're hiding things. And that's not how it works. Right. We are going to find the truth about Michael. And when we find out the truth about Michael, those that are responsible or had a hand in it will see the full extent of the law. That's not a threat. That's just the way it works. So, you know, I was I was re I watching a video this morning that Matt's and my business coach, we have a business coach together, but separately. Um, <laughs> he's going to laugh when he sees this. But it, the, the person on this uh, was talking and there was like a motivational thing. And they said, you know, one of the biggest problems is you need to take responsibility for yourself. 
And it's so easy in this culture to blame everybody else for your problems, but it, 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 it comes down to each one of us. And I haven't heard you blaming anybody. Um, I had you just, I just heard you looking for your kid. And um, if the world would do that, just take responsibility for your part and, you know, and, and let this family find their son and get this thing over with. And if you have something to hide, whoever you might be out there, somebody out there has something to hide. Um, it's going to come back to haunt you. Um, and uh, God, it is, <laughs> you know, I thought the election was crazy. <laughs> I, I thought that, you know, everything that's going on in 2020. And um, this is just, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Parrish, my friend, I wish you so much luck and you have all my prayers and um, you have the prayers of a lot of people. I'm sure on both pages, but you have a lot of people that are praying for you. And I just hope that somebody um, comes forward or and says what's going on so we can get this thing settled. Thanks for making the time and give Tina a hug. Okay. All right, I'm going to take you guys off here for a second. Wow, Matt. Yeah, it's a lot. So thank you for agreeing to sponsor this. Just, I mean, I know it's hard because there's a lot of controversy and a lot of things around that, but um, it really helps to get the word out. And I knew this would be perfect for you. Um, you know, I was reading to, I, I want to bring this up just because I, I think it's informative for people. So Matt runs, he has hyperbaric chambers. And I was reading, did you see that article I sent you? I, you're, you're, um, I, I was, really I, quick, I, was I, I mean, this is off subject, but this is what you do. And you guys, we have to, Matt, this is what Matt does for a living. We want you to understand what hyperbaric chambers are all about, but it was talking about how this helps kids with brain injuries and trauma. And I was just, I, I was stunned. I just kept reading it because I thought, I, my God, this is like so many things. So people, Matt has this available for folks and um, he just happens to be Michael's, you know, second cousin removed and <laughs> how all that works. But um, it's a great way during this really difficult time to go in and give yourself a break and do something really good for your entire body and your cells with pure oxygen coming in. And um, God, I need <laughs> you have one in your home. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, Matt, thank Maybe. you, and um, yes. and we appreciate it. And Absolutely. go ahead. Uh, thank you, Rick, for uh, doing this and getting the word out for Michael. It's it's been really hard. It's you know, 2020, like you said, it's been a crazy year, and then you know, getting personally hit with something like this just adds a whole nother layer. Well, I'm to glad it. we could so, do this for your family, yes. and and hopefully somebody out there will see something. All right, Matt, I'm going to see you on the 20th because Matt has a big special coming up over Thanksgiving and you have to find out about, I mean, you can order like a whole bunch of them. His treatments for a really good deal. And that's a great gift for Christmas, but that's coming up on the 20th. We're going to have him back um, at a time when we can talk about that, but stay tuned because you guys want to find out more or go to his website, New Leaf yeah. Hyperbarics and Massage, and you can find, all you got to do is, I, I Google you all the time. Just Google him and you can go on there and find out what's coming up later. Matt, thank you. I'm going to pop you out of here. Uh, so there you go. That got a little wild. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, um, I don't know what to say, actually, except for I hope that this family finds their son. Um, I hope that the folks out there who, according to them, are making this very difficult, I hope you would just stop. I mean, and what do you, you don't know what they're going through. You're not, why would you do anything, whoever, and I'm not blaming any certain person. I'm just saying somebody out there is doing this. And that, that's just not, come on, we don't do that. That's not something you can do. And, you know, I mean, it's a grieving family, you know, put yourself in their shoes. How would you feel? What would that feel like to you? Um, and if one of you is hiding something and you're allowing this to go on and on and on, you know, but what would that be like? How would you feel? It's a bad thing. So 
and the rest of us, we can pray for them and um, give them support and don't argue with the trolls. Do not argue with the trolls. Trust me, it doesn't get you anywhere. Um, and they're just going to continue to troll. And um, fortunately, in the end, it'll all come out. And <laughs> I'd hate to be in your place when it does. All right. Good night. I'm Rick Dancer. Um, lots more coming up this week. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do just a, my own little show. Um, but I won't tell you when, sometime tomorrow. Um, and then we've got on Wednesday is uh, Veterans Day. And so uh, Chris um, Dental in Eugene, uh, Michael Bratlin, Dr. Michael Bratlin, he's going to be giving away a thousand American flags to anybody to celebrate veterans, to just wave it for a veteran. So you can go by his office over off of uh, Oakmont Way and pick up a flag from 1030 to noon and you just, it's free, just get a flag and you can go do your thing with it. And um, then if you miss out on that opportunity, any lab test now um, over on Garfield in Eugene is gonna be doing it, their brothers, that owners are brothers. They're gonna be doing the same thing at two o'clock to four o'clock. So it's a great way to just show a veteran that you care and that you're interested and involved. We got more coming up, but I'll, I'll get back to you about that later. All right, I'm Rick Dancer. This is Get Real with Rick Dancer. Again, thank you. New Leaf Hyperbarics and Wellness, um, putting air into our conversation. That's what we do. All right, can't wait to see what these comments are gonna look like.